piece. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what we wanted to show you today was give you guys a first look at Sanctuary, right. which uh, is actually going to be playable at the floor here at All Gamescom right. for the first time. So if you're coming out of Gamescom this weekend for public days, you will get your hands on with this. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as you can tell, first thing that jumps out. Look at the birds! Look at them! <laughs> wow! Is the bird. No, I mean, the map, we're thrilled, right? The map is gorgeous. Um, this is quickly turning into one of my favorite. Like, we chose six maps to remake. How did you do that? I heard you talk about six maps. How? I mean, with uh, with the hundred or so maps, how did you decide that these are the ones we're going to do? It was. I mean, it was interesting. Obviously, um, in many cases, people have their favorites, right? right? Um, but there are some that are kind of slam dunks, yeah. and actually, Sanctuary was really big on that list, right? Like, this is just a Look map this. that people love. Look at the lighting. I know it's. It, this is a spectacular map. Um, and so, yes, actually, it was just really easy. When we sat down and started having the conversations, everyone, this was on everybody's list. Right, right. And I couldn't be happier with how it's come out. I mean, the team's done an amazing job. The map looks gorgeous. But in all of this, with all these changes, there we go. we've able, been able to keep the flow the same. So that map flow, the play flow that people remember, has you know is almost 100 percent identical and i want to point out you said this i believe you said this up on stage but if you haven't we'll, we'll say it right now if pe people love this they see all this but they're going oh what have you done on my map i want the old the old one back you've got that you've, you've got had the that. option absolutely so whereas we chose six to remastered the original versions of are those still maps there. are still there. Yeah. So get in them, go have fun, go to town. But I mean, you know, these what's great about these multiplayer maps, right? You know, 60 frames per second, 1080p. Oh my you god. You can see the smoothness. You can just see how crisp and beautiful these maps yeah. are. The vistas are gorgeous. Um, and you know, we've done a couple of other interesting things. It feels things because these. of the way the lighting is. It feels completely different. It really does. And I mean, the lighting is even. You know, you saw when Dennis was coming around with like kind of the sun coming right. up in the bloom. You can actually, in some points, get blinded as you're looking up. Right. And oh, there's something interesting. All right, now wait a minute. <laughs> Any video gamer at home sitting what knows exactly what to do? It's red. You De got to Dennis, shoot it. You got to shoot it, right? And what happened? Oh, look at that. Isn't that! So this is one of the new things we've done on the maps. Wow. All of these maps have a dynamic element. Okay. So it's going to let you do something to change the flow of the map a little bit. So in this case, you shoot that, the waterfall is going to start to come over it, and that changes your sight lines, right? right? So you could sure be inside, it, or you, know, you can have someone coming at you, and it just changes that flow a little bit. And we've got those themes. That theme is uh, intact with all of our maps. There's going to be something that you can do to change the flow of now, that map. Now, in this case, since it's 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 a kind of a symmetrical map, uh, does the same? I can see the red on the other side. Yep. Same thing happens on the other exactly. side to each base. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So whatever base you're in, uh, we've got the water theme for this one. So in Let's this case, as Dennis, Dennis runs over, Dennis blasts shoot. it. We'll see his aim's pretty good. There we go. There, there it is. Up. So now, will the water keep going down through the entire match, or does it reset? It will eventually reset. I see. And that adds some strategic elements to it as well. Okay. Sometimes you may want it, sometimes you may not. All right. But yeah, I, I can stare at this map for hours. I just I just love how beautiful this map now, is. No, I had looking. a question here from Twitter, uh, sitting right here on my surface. At Webby Stimp 327 asks, what was the best part of making the upcoming game? Oh, man. I mean. <laughs> Is it like this, being able to remaster yeah, things? Some of it is this, right? right. I mean, a lot of it is we're... Look we're, at the water. <laughs> it's gorgeous, oh I know. God. I mean, everyone, we're all working at 343 because wow. we love Halo, yeah. right? And playing Halo is what got so many of us into 343, and in, in many cases into the business in the first sure. place. So for us to be able to go back and take wow. a map like this and make it better and improve upon it, uh, it's just a tremendous privilege. Yeah. Um, it's just a, a whole lot of fun, and the whole team's just having a blast making it. There's more water, and there's we're going to go inside, water. and it just goes right through. Now, I mean, there's so much going on here. That HUD feels and looks so familiar. You know, we can see the radar, and I love the fact that you kept, I mean, you kept everything the same. I mean, even the, you know, the waypoints on the lower left-hand corner near the radar. Yep, absolutely. I mean, you, whether the multiplayer or the campaign. There's the that, turret. That, that, there's that turret. I mean, that was key for us, was that ability to make it, Bring it into the modern era, but yep. make sure that game plays the same. Because, you know, you've got your favorite memories of Halo 2. Oh, I'm I sure. sure do. I've got mine, and we don't want, we want to enhance those memories. We don't want to take them away. Right. So that gameplay is identical. It's how you remember. Charge that up. Charge but, it up and oh, let her go. Here we go. <laughs> Boom. Here we go, yeah. God, it just, it looks, it looks so great. Now, this is a little different, because yep. there used to be an energy sword. Good eye, here. yeah. So this is one of the changes we made here is we've replaced the energy sword with the rocket launcher. Okay. Um, and the in rock this particular map. In this particular map. Right. And we've had a tremendous amount of fun. We had some pros playing this Ooh, map. Oh, I want to see the needler. I need to see. Uh, I need to see. Uh, I pink think we mist. just passed it. Yep, there okay. it is. <laughs> 
So yeah, so so uh, there. Ooh, there it is. Great. I mean, what's great here is you're also. I mean, we're not hearing it now, but we've redone the audio as well. Okay. So you're not just getting these new visual uh, visuals. We re-recorded the weapon sound, even like the footfalls, the music. So the game just sounds better than it ever has. It looks better than it ever has, and it's just an amazingly fun map. Now you talked about remastering. You know, obviously visually remastering the audio. I mean, how difficult is that to go in and, and kind of you know work on these iconic moments and the map flow and so forth. I mean, cause you, you talked a little bit earlier, we we're talking off the air about about Max. Yep. Let's talk about Max Hoberman, which some people may not know, but they certainly know his work. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you played the original Halo 2, you know Max's work. Max was the original Max multiplayer. Hoberman. Max yep. Hoberman at Certain Affinity, who worked with us on these six new maps. Right. Uh, Max was the original multiplayer designer right. on Halo 2, so it was a great experience. As soon as we started this project, I flew down to Austin, and Max and I were just chatting. So Max has his own company now. Yes, which is Certain Affinity, and located did... down in Austin. We've been working with them for years. Now, how, what was it like to go to Max and go, hey, Max, remember that map you made about 10 years ago? How about you redo it? It was wild, <laughs> right? I mean, Max just geeked out immediately because yeah. we were just sitting having a, you know, having a drink. It was like, okay, Max, what would you like to have done? And you couldn't, either because you didn't have the tech or you didn't have the time right. or you didn't have the tools. And it was just, just great because Max will just immediately start launching into stories. Right. And, oh, yeah, and we couldn't do this, and we didn't have time to finish that. Right. And, you know, we just got into this amazing, great partnership, this great dialogue with certain affinity of things they wanted to do, things we wanted to do. And this is the result, right? You've just got a gorgeous map that plays how you remember. I mean, look, I mean, look, I the, just, look, look at the walls exactly, there. Exactly. see like the just, water just coming down there. It is gorgeous. The detail so on this luscious. map is phenomenal. Yeah. And I do, I often say that I do think this is going to be one of the best, most popular Halo maps ever shipped. Now, you, you said so you're going to do six of them. Yes. So let's talk about the ones you've announced already. Um, okay, so what have we talked about <laughs> so far? So we talked about this. We talked about Ascension. Um, Dennis, what were the other two we've announced? I don't want to get into jail here. Dennis Ascension is, Sanctuary, yep. Coag, 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 Coag is the other one. Known as Blood Gulch. Blood so Gulch. Old, so those oldies. We're going to stop there because okay. we're both worried we're going to say the totally wrong one. Totally get that, totally get that. <laughs> but, the, you know, there's going to be a total of six eventually. Yes. And you guys, with hand-loving care, have remade these using the, the power of Xbox One. And, and I want to be clear, this is the first time that you'll ever be able to play all of the Master Chief games, all the Halo games. On one console? On one console, right. on a single generation, right. right? Because franchise has been around a long time and it has spanned so many consoles. Right. So when we started working on this project, that was a big part of it. Like, how do we take all of these games and bring it to one console? So it's a tremendous I see a reset here, so yeah, I'll come back go. down. Yeah. And what's great about the Xbox One, we have so much more power to work with. Right. I mean, we couldn't do this before, right? Like, people get excited about all of the games unlocked, right. everything on one disc. And this is really something we couldn't do before the Xbox One. Well, I got to tell you, I have not had a chance to get hands on time with this game yet um, because you guys have been real busy. But I was downstairs where you're setting up where people are going to get their oh, hands great. on and, and at, at Gamescom. People were geeking out over the menu system. <laughs> it's funny, you know. We're th we liked it. We're, we're like thrilled people are so excited about that menu system. But if there's just something so powerful to people, I think, emotionally, just looking at it and saying, like, it's all here. And let's talk about that real quickly. I mean, I don't know if you, Dennis, if you can back out and show it, but it's, it's, it allows you to go into different playlists, right? Absolutely. And so talk about that. One of the advantages we've got of unlocking everything at the beginning right. is we can create some really fun playlists. So you can move through the game however you want. Oh, Everything's look at that unlocked. Screen. That's so beautiful. But by having the playlist, we can do things like, okay, we're going to have playlists where you play all the vehicle missions right. from Halo 1 through 4, just back to back. Okay. Or, um, you know, all of the space missions or all of the uh, Warthog missions. Or I think Dennis's personal favorite where we've just got start the first level at Halo 1, work all the way through to the end of Halo 4, just right. like in one power grind right, right through the whole thing. So, and we're going to have more of those right. after we launch as well. Right. Well, we're probably going to, you know, we don't know. Unfortunately, I just got the note here in my ear that we're out of time. Ah. So, we're, you know, if, if you're coming to Gamescom, just remember that uh, you are going to be able to play this on the floor. You can check out the menu system yourself. Check it out. Yeah, you can come. You can play Ascension <laughs> and, and Sanctuary. And the game itself. It's, so you'll have Ascension and, and Sanctuary. Sanctuary playable on the floor. Um, yeah, come check it out. We're going to be running matches Wednesday through, well, right through the end of the show. Yeah, this is unbelievable. So I want to thank you for coming by. Awesome for you to come from directly right above us and run <laughs> down here it's to join nice us. It's a nice run. All right, Graham, you've got some new stuff. Hey everybody, we're really excited to be showing off the brand new Halo 2 Anniversary map reveal, Sanctuary. I'm Bravo and with me is Alex Goldenboy Mendez. We're also joined by some of the best professional Halo players in the world. Walshy, Strongside, Flamesword, and Pistola. 
I'm really excited to show off Sanctuary for the first time. Alex, it's a classic Halo map. Yeah, it's a map that old school Halo fans absolutely love. And luckily we have four incredible players here to show off the map. So what we're gonna do is take these four guys, split them up into two teams, have them play a quick match to five, and see what happens. All right, let's hop into the match. Teams for the match are going to be Walshy and Strongside going up against Pistola and Flamesword. And we're starting things off here with Flamesword's point of view as he pushes down to the middle of the map. Now remember, Bravo, one thing you want to do is deny the enemy team possession of the rockets off the break. So Flamesword did a great job of that. But jumping over to Strongside here, who has a sniper rifle, he's going to miss two shots, sending one nade forward. Can't quite find the other one as well. But there is going to be a player pushing ring one. Yeah, it looks like that's Flamesword who snuck ring one. He's going to try to grab that rocket launcher and actually does steal the rocket launcher, misses the first rocket on Strongside and pushes him back. Yeah. Yeah, and oh, tried to go for the quick scope there, couldn't quite find it. But jumping back to Flame Sword now, who actually has the rockets. He wasted two before, finds one there. That's going to make it one to zero for the double. Oh. Yes, and he's able to get it, making the score two to one. And now switching gears over to Strong Side, who's off the respawn, just over a minute left. And as you said, his team is down by one, immediately pushing towards the middle of the map. I like what he's doing here with his ring three vantage point. I couldn't agree more with you, Bravo. Here he's going to find one player down at the bottom. Perfect nade placement, able to take him out. And can he line up the double kill? Oh. Yes, he can, making it. Three to two, red team in the lead. And now switching over to Pasola. One minute left on the clock, but his team is down by one kill, so he wants to slow things down just a bit. He needs to coordinate an attack with Flamesword as they push towards the middle of the map. Putting some shots down on Walshy, but does get sniped from the right side. That's going to force him to drop down. Let's switch over to Strongside, who has the sniper rifle. Yeah, and with that said, he has the game in his hands as well. Three to two is the score. Let's see what Strongside and Walshy can do here as they have control of the center of the map. There is going to be a player, though. Ring two finding one. Oh. Two swift body shots, and that's going to make it four to three. Strongside can shut the game down. Oh, and he oh. hit the no scope for the win. Game over. Incredible game with a great no scope from Strongside to end it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Sanctuary.